Hello everyone, Tech1421 here. Welcome back to another episode of Mega Moveset. This is episode number two. We're going to be covering Mega Pincer in this episode. So first off, I do want to talk about the moveset and his ability really quickly. So his ability, what he does is, I don't know how to pronounce it. It's uh, Aerial 8, I think it's how you say it. Aerial 8, that's how I'm going to say it. Uh, this Pokemon's normal moves become flying type and do 1.3 times damage. And when Me when Pinsir Mega evolves, he actually becomes bug and flying type. So all of his normal moves or flying moves are hitting for stab now. And they are going to do a ridiculous amount of damage thanks to this ability. So the moveset we're going to be putting on Pinsir is Return. And Return is going to be a base of 1.3. 102 power and because if you have full happiness it's going to be 102 power and that normal type move is actually going to become a flying type which is going to hit for stab and that's going to do a ridiculous amount of damage thanks to his ability and is crazy ridiculous attack uh raise that we're going to get into in a second and then uh, x scissor is also going to be hitting for stab this is i i chose this move just as another stab move to have on him uh base 80 power and then the attack uh, you know is, is pretty high so it's going to be doing a lot of damage as well and then a quick attack is going to be a very interesting move to work with uh, with mega pincer and i found that it's actually a, a, one of the go-to moves if you don't get set up with swords dance because it with all the attack raises that you get with the, both the ability the stab and etc etc uh, you're going to be hitting for a lot of damage just with an attack that has priority to begin with so that's definitely a really nice move to add on there and then obviously swords dance you're going to be raising your attack by two and then quick attack is just going to be sweeping teams at that point um, even if they have resistance so that's that um, now i want to get into the evs really quickly and i chose to make him a physical sweeper fast physical sweeper uh, the speed isn't that fantastic. It did get a nice little speed boost from regular old pincer, which I'll showcase in a second here. Uh, but the speed, um, you don't you might want to go a different route with the speed. But I've kind of gone back and forth. Um, you might want to go defense route, but because if you're using quick attack, then you don't really need the speed to be that high. But sometimes you're going to want to use moves like return. And this extra speed might really help out so in certain situations. And then the attack, you're going to want to max that out as much as possible. Make him adamant and go from there. That 155 attack plus the ability plus the uh, stab, yeah, it's, it's going to hit for a lot of damage. And now let's go ahead and take a look at the regular old pincer really quickly just so that we can get a glimpse at him. Just because it, it might kind of... Uh, make things a little bit different because you're gonna want to put on a moxie boost and if mega if pincer is in a situation where it could actually kill something you notice that it's not gonna get stabbed it's not gonna get the stab for the quick attack anymore because it's not mega pincer but uh, if you do have the ability because its attack still is pretty decent at 125 plus adamant plus you know a ridiculous amount of EV um, from all that. Uh, if Hook Attack does have the ability to kill, then you do get that Moxie boost, and it raises your attack by one. So, and then you can Mega Evolve next turn, and it essentially saves you a chance to, it saves you a move, so you don't have the Swords Dance. Um, so it is something to kind of play around with. And um, now let's go ahead and get into the clips. I do want to thank everyone for watching this video before we get into the clips. And if you could leave a like, that'd be absolutely fantastic. That kind of keeps the series going. And in the comments down below, let me know what you change about this moveset, what you like about this moveset, um, and certain things, and as well as what Pokemon you'd like to see next in this series. I'm probably going to go with Mega Blaziken next, but as far as other Pokemon to showcase in the series, what would you like to see? And now let's go ahead and get into the moveset. And I'll see everyone next time. Peace.